In this, we will understand about queuing model MMC FIFO infinity infinity. In this model, the first letter M and second letter M both denotes that the first letter denotes that the arrival rate follows a Poisson distribution. Second letter also denotes that the service rate follows a Poisson distribution. Third letter C denotes that the number of service channels is more than one. If it is one, we would have mentioned it as one like in the previous model, but it is more than one. So we are denoting it by C. Subsequently, we'll also specify what is the value of C. The fourth letter FIFO indicates that the service discipline or the queue discipline is on first in first out basis. And the next letter infinity indicates that there is no restriction in the number of customers allowed in the system. The last letter infinity indicates that the size of the calling source population is infinite. These are the various parameters uh, which can be evaluated for this queuing model. First one is P0, which is nothing but the probability of having zero customers in the system. That can be calculated as summation n equal to zero to c minus one, rho to the power of n by n factorial plus rho power c by c factorial times c mu divided by c mu minus lambda. This whole thing to the power of minus one. The steady state probability of having n customers in the system can be calculated as p suffix n is equal to rho power n p naught divided by n factorial, where the small n uh, lies between 1 and c. And if small n is greater than c, then we use this formula p n equal to rho power n p naught divided by c power n minus c into c factorial. Further, we can find out the average length of the queue or average number of customers waiting in the queue as L suffix Q equal to lambda mu rho power C into P naught divided by C minus one the factorial into C, C mu minus lambda the whole square. Average number of customers in the systems can, can be calculated as L suffix S equal to LQ plus rho that is the utilization factor. Here rho is the utilization factor and that can be evaluated as lambda divided by mu means arrival rate by service rate. The average waiting time of customers in the queue can be calculated as W suffix Q equal to LQ divided by lambda. Average waiting time of customers in the system can be calculated as W suffix S, which is L suffix S divided by lambda. We'll understand uh, one numerical example. How do we solve it? At a central warehouse, vehicles arrive at the rate of 18 per hour, which means the arrival rate, that is lambda, is given as 18. And it follows Poisson distribution. It is already specified. The unloading time of the vehicle follows exponential distribution, which means that the unloading rate, that is the service rate, that will follow Poisson distribution, Unloading rate is given, that is service rate is given as six vehicles per hour, which means our mu value in this is six. That indicates that our rho will be 18, that is lambda by mu, you get three as the value. There are four unloading crews, which means our capital C value is four here. Find the following, what is the probability of having zero vehicle in the system? That means we have to find out what is P naught, what is the probability of having three vehicles in the system, which means that we have to find out P3. We may note we will be using the first formula for calculating this. Reason is, this n is 3, c is 4, and n lies between 1 and 4. So for that reason, uh, for this P3, we will be using the very first formula. What is the Q length? That means we have to find out what is L suffix Q. What is the average number of vehicles in the system? Which means we have to find out L suffix S. What is the average waiting time per vehicle in the queue? We need to find out W suffix Q. What is the average waiting time per vehicle in the system? Which means we need to find out W S. Now we will solve it. We'll start the solution from the next slide onwards. Uh, the first one, given that the service rate and arrival rate both follows Poisson distribution, hence the first two letters of the queuing model will be will have M in it. Then the question talks about four crews. That means the number of servers is four. So our third letter will be C in the queuing model. 
Nothing is specified about the service discipline, which means our fourth letter will be FIFO only. Since no restriction is specified for the system, the fifth letter will be considered to be infinity. And nothing is specified about the size of the calling source population. So the sixth letter also will be considered as infinity. So the model will be M slash M slash C, uh, close the bracket, within brackets, colon, P4, infinity and infinity. <laughs> now let us proceed. Since the model is identified, we can proceed using those formulae to calculate all the values what is being given. <laughs> First one, P0. So we will substitute the values now. So N is equal to 0. To C minus 1 means it becomes 4 minus 1. So it is 3. Uh, rho power n, rho we calculated as 3, so it is 3 power n by n factorial plus rho is 3, 3 power c means 3 power 4 divided by c factorial which means 4 factorial within brackets. So c mu means uh, 4 into 6, mu is 6 divided by 4 into 6 is 24 lambda is 18. So the whole thing to the power of minus 1 means inverse. So by now by expanding this, uh, first we will substitute n as 0 and uh, then substitute n as 1, then substitute n as 2, n as 3. After substituting all these things and the evaluating this, we will get the result of p naught as 0 0.038 we will get. Next, we need to find out P suffix N, rho power N, P naught by N factorial. That was the first formula because N lies between 1 and C. So here, rho power 3 means it is 3 cube by 3 factorial is 6 and P naught we just now calculated is 0 0.038. So now calculating this, we will get <clears throat> 0 0.1698. Then L suffix Q, uh, lambda mu, that is lambda is 18, mu is 6, rho value is 3, power 4 times 0 0.038, the whole thing divided by C minus 1 factorial, so 3 factorial into 4, multiplied by 6 minus 18, the square. If we calculate this and evaluate, we will get 1.539. That can be rounded off to make it an integer value as two vehicles. Then we proceed next. LS, LS, LQ already we calculated. We will consider the value before uh, rounding off, which was 1.539. So 1.539 plus rho, we know it is 3. So we get 4.539. This again, we will round it off to make it an integer as 5 vehicles. Then next is WQ, which is LQ divided by lambda. LQ we calculated already as 1.539 divided by lambda is 18. So if we calculate this, we get 0 0.0855 hour. And that we will convert it into uh, minutes by multiplying it by 60. So we get approximately 5.13 minutes. Then the next WS, that is waiting time in the system, LS we already calculated as 4.539 before rounding. We will substitute that value divided by 18. We will get 0 0.2522 hour. Multiplying by 60, we can convert this into minutes as 15.13 minutes. So that will be the solution for this particular problem.